that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on two requests at the same time. Someone asked for a TV riser and another person asked for a portable or detachable TV unit. This is a table tray that I got from Five Below that I'm going to be using for this project. This is pretty easy to assemble and it comes with a stopper at the bottom. This is what it looks like when you're done assembling. Now I got three at first that I wanted using for the project. And then I realized that the trays at the top will not be needed. So I'm gonna take those away. I'll be attaching just the bottom parts with zip ties. By using the zip ties, it's easy to cut them with a pair of scissors when you want to disassemble the TV unit. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I figured three might be too small, so I added two more. To make this more interesting, I'm going to add the height on both sides by adding more trays. That looks okay, but it's kind of short, so I'm going to add another one on both sides again. The TV is going to be resting here, so I'm going to use a very strong, thick piece of wood and cover it with contact paper and place it on top. I'm going to be measuring because I like to add a little bit of design to this. Always remember to use a sharp X-Acto knife when making cuts on your foam board. It makes your cuts clean and precise. I'll be covering the bottom part with canvas panels. And I got a lot of these when they were on sale. But you can just use a long piece of wood to cover up the bottom part and it will work just fine. Before I go any further, you can definitely stop here. You want to keep it simple, you can just leave it the way it is. But then I like to add a little bit of design to this. So I went ahead and used the cutouts that I made from the foam board. And then I used craft sticks, made a pattern on the boards, and then attached them to the TV unit. I spray painted them gold, and they will be attached using command strips. 
so that it will be easy to remove. Now this extension here was made with foam boards because of the part here that extended out just a bit. Because I have a lot of these canvas panels, I'm going to be attaching the other designs that will be at the top to the canvas panels with tack nails. I cut the bottom parts of the designs at the top, while the ones at the bottom were left with pointy ends. I'll be attaching remote control push lights to this design. And here's what it looks like. I made another design, and this time around, I took the same kind of boards and spray printed them silver. And then I used tape to make a pattern on the board. After that, I applied Mod Podge over the open spaces and I used a gloss Mod Podge. I'll be sprinkling crushed mirror glass over it. Now this is the one that I used once in a while and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I did not have enough for this project so I went to Michael's craft store and got two packs and each of them cost a little bit over $6. I'm going to evenly spread this out and then I'll wait for about 30 minutes when it's not completely dry and then I'll remove the tape. This can be left overnight to dry, but then I had a standing fan over it, which made it dry even faster. Now, when it was completely dry, I shook off the excess crushed mirror glass, and then the open lines were covered with this mirror tape. This design reminds me of a wall decor that I made a while back, and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. After attaching the pieces, I made something different for the middle. I placed a board that has been spray painted silver and marked where I wanted the pattern to be continued. I added diamond wrap around the canvases because the mirror that I'm using is not wide enough. I will need more lighting at the back, so what I did was to take an old mirror and attached LED strips around it. Now this mirror is gonna add lighting at the back. This will also make the back look pretty because of the reflection of the design that will be on it. The fun part about this is that you can change the pattern. I just changed some of the boards at the top facing downward. If you're not into silver, you can use gold. Like I showed you earlier, this is what the gold design looks like. But then if you want to add a splash of color to your design, you're free to do that as well. Here's what mine looks like after adding a colored board that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, if you like, you can go ahead and add some of the patterns over the design. Remember that these are detachable designs. They're not permanent. These designs come in handy if you're someone that travels a lot or if you're a student. I mean, even if you just wanna have something simple at home, this is a quick and easy way to go about it with just nine trays from five below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.